In this video, we are going to take a look at the 2004 Toyota Land Cruiser 4.7 liter engine that starts and immediately shut off. Sometimes the engine will crank and no start. Let's diagnose, troubleshoot this issue. Go ahead. Again. Again. With number one cylinder ignition coil removed, a screwdriver connected to its electrode and gap to engine ground, notice the engine start as the spark appear at the screwdriver to ground. We will now replace this coil and continue our test on diagnostic onto the crankshaft position sensor. Let's remove the crankshaft position sensor which is located on the same harness for the oil pressure sensor on the left side of the block. A 10 millimeter quarter inch drive ratchet with socket will be required for removing its fastener. Once the sensor is removed, make sure the reluctor wheel is able to interrupt the sensor when it's in operation. With the crankshaft position sensor removed from the engine, pay attention to the foreign contaminant that's built up on the magnetic portion of the sensor. It should be clean and does not have a negative effect on its reading. With the sensor cold in temperature, we can see the ohms meter displaying a 2.120, which is 2120 and is a proper working sensor within factory specification. This sensor can now be installed. With the crankshaft sensor test and verify to be okay, it can be reinstalled with the oil pressure sensor, taking careful attention you do not damage plastic on the harness plug which holds the plug in position. Removal of the intake plumbing, we can see there is foreign contaminant and dirt build up beyond the filter and which will most likely contaminate the mass airflow sensor. So this is our next location for test diagnostic when we look at the element on the mass air flow sensor we could see it's contaminated with foreign obstacle and dirt this will cause the sensor to give a faulty reading and no start like we are experiencing when trying to start the engine let's perform our test looking at the ohms meter test probe connected to the mass airflow sensor a display of 3.87 ohms at approximately 85 degrees fahrenheit tells us that this mass airflow sensor is malfunction and need replacement another diagnostic test to the mass airflow sensor circuit is to look for a battery voltage when the multi-volt meter is connected to those pin a 11.66 battery voltage battery connected ignition key on can be displayed. 